Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. On this video, I'm going to be giving you my match reaction from the Leeds Manchester United game. So Manchester United beat Leeds 2-0 at Elland Road. Manchester United scored twice in the final 10 minutes at Elland Road. Marcus Rashford gave Manchester United the lead in the 80th minute. It was a header from Marcus Rashford, came from Luke Shaw's cross. They are quickly intervened to check for the possible offside, but they are confirmed Rashford was on side. Rashford now has 21 goals in all competitions this season. Uh, Rashford had a goal disallowed in the game for offside. On Wednesday night at Old Trafford, Marcus Rashford scored a good header. You know, Eric Ten Hag is impressed with Rashford. He is enjoying a very good season. This is probably his best season as a Man United player. Not so long ago, Marcus Rashford got fined £574 and handed six points on his licence for speeding in his 670,000 Mercedes. Soon, I am expecting Manchester United to extend Marcus Rashford's contract and he's set to receive an increase on his £200,000 a week salary. Towards the end of last year, Man United extended Rashford's contract by one year. Garnacho scored Manchester United's second goal. Uh, Ganacho outpaced the Leeds defence and he beat Mayele at his near post. His goal came in the 85th minute. Revert back to Wednesday night, Garnacho should have scored because he had two good chances in that first half. His first chance went just wide, should have at least hit the target. <laughs> and he had another chance when he went round Mayale and he hit it and obviously it hit the head of Maximilian Wober. Luke Shaw, of course, got the assist for Marcus Rashford's goal. Of course, today, Luke Shaw was playing at centre-half. He was alongside Harry Maguire. Luke Shaw's played at centre-half now around five times this season. He's predominantly a left-back, but was playing at centre-half today. Uh, Terrell Molassi was at left-back today. And while Weghorst, he got... The assist for Garnacho's goal. Uh, Wegos, by the way, had a goal ruled out by VAR. Manchester United have got Wegos on loan until the end of the season. But, to be honest with you, I thought it was a scrappy contest at Elland Road. I thought Leeds started the first half brightly. I also thought they started the second half brightly. Just like they did in the game at Old Trafford on Wednesday night. Um, I thought Leeds' play of the match was Somerville. He had four good chances in the game. He's a good young player, is Somerville. He's in the Leeds first team before he was in the under-23s. Uh, Lou Kaling had a chance for an overhead kick.
Uh, Manchester United, you know, had their chances in the game as well. Uh, towards the end of the first half, Bruno Fernandes should have definitely scored. He was one on one with Mayale. Uh, it was a mistake by Leeds. Why, obviously, Fernandes was on goal. Uh, Fernandez had another effort in the game, went way wide. In the second half, Diego Dallo hit the crossbar, so he was unlucky not to score. Mayele was nowhere near that. But yeah. Manchester United did go second. Obviously now Manchester City have gone back second because they've beat Aston Villa 3-1 at the Etihad. I think Ten Hag made the wrong decision today. By starting Harry Maguire. I was very surprised he started Harry Maguire. Uh, Varane and Lissandro Martinez were dropped, surprisingly. Obviously, Ten Hag explained the centre-back pairing of Harry Maguire and Luke Shaw. By the way, it was Harry Maguire's first Premier League start since the 3-0 win against Bournemouth on the 3rd of January. Um, Maguire today, I think he did make some good interventions, but he made some errors as well. To be honest, where I can see Maguire leaving Man United in the summer. Uh, revert back to January into Milan, inquired about getting him on loan, but Maguire rejected a loan move to Inter Milan to fight for his place at Man United. Fred, he, of course, played today. I thought he was quite poor, in my opinion. Um, he did get a yellow card. Uh, that's his fifth yellow card, so he's suspended for the game against Leicester next week. Uh, Jaden Sancho started today on the right wing. That was his first Premier League start since September. Uh, don't forget, on Wednesday night... Jadon Sancho came off the bench and scored the equaliser for Manchester United on his Premier League return after nearly four months out. Ten Hag did mention he was proud of Jadon Sancho for scoring. But I read a stat in the game today. There was 20 odd fouls committed. Of course, you know, Leeds are missing quite a lot of players. Um, obviously, there was no Sinistera today. You know, he went off injured in the first half on Wednesday night. Uh, Strike, he played no part. You know, he went off injured in the first half at Old Trafford. Uh, there was no Dallas, and he's a key player for Leeds. Uh, Leeds were missing Rodrigo. He's a key player. <laughs> uh, Liam Cooper, he's out with a knot, but he's not Leeds' his first choice anyway. Of course, Adam Farshaw's been out with injury, but he's not first choice. So there were a lot of the players that were missing. Rocker as well recently picked up a knock, but he's not first choice. So there you go. Man United, of course, are missing players. Obviously, um, Ericsson, he's out until April or early May with an ankle injury. Casemiro, of course, 
played no part today because he's suspended. He's now served two games. He's got one more game to serve. Don't forget Casemiro got sent off in the game against Crystal Palace at Old Trafford. Obviously, no Martial. He's out with injury. But Tomine, he's still out with a knock. Anthony, you know, he's out with injury. So, obviously, the only option on the right today was Sancho. And Sancho obviously started. Elanga was an option, but obviously, Elanga's not first choice. Uh, Milanga actually did come on in the game. Uh, not so long ago, Bissaka was out with illness. And Van der Beek, as you all know, is out for the rest of the season, but doesn't get in the team anyway. As you all know, Leeds United are managerless. But I think, you know, to be honest with you, from a Leeds perspective, they'll be delighted. You know, before the two games, you know, if you'd have said to a Leeds fan, would you take one point out of six against a top team like Man United, you know, they'd have bit your hand off. But Leeds, I admitted, you know, should have definitely won the game on Wednesday night at Old Trafford because there was 2-0 up. You know, Wilfred Nonto... Scored after just 55 seconds. Good finish. And then obviously Leeds doubled the lead early in the second half. It was a Varane own goal. And obviously, you know, Man United came from two goals down to rescue a point. You know, Rashford and Sancho scored. I'm hearing, by the way, that Leeds are close to a point in uh, the former Ajax manager. Can't remember his name. Uh, Leeds have obviously been trying to get Arnie Slot from Feyenoord. You know, they made an approach. Uh, they try to get that Rayo Vallecano manager and Donna Ariola, but as you all know, Leeds won't be getting him because Rayo Vallecano blocked Leeds' move. But Leeds United, you know, are in serious trouble. You know, they've only won one of their last 12 games. The last time Leeds won in the league was against Bournemouth for three. Like I've said, Leeds' expectations this season is to stay up. As you all know, last Monday, Leeds United sat Jesse Marsh after less than a year in charge. Because of Leeds' 1-0 defeat to Nottingham Forest last weekend. And obviously their bad run of form. Jesse Mars didn't even last a full season. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of rumours saying that the 49ers are going to be taking over Leeds United. But uh, Man United, you know, have got a very, very good record at Ellen Road. The last time Manchester United lost at Ellen Road was back in the 2002-03 season. It was 1-0 to Leeds. Harry Kuehl scored. Uh, Man United won today at Ellen Road 2-0. Won at Ellen Road last season 4-2. The season before last, it was 0-0 at Ellen Road. That was a very poor game, that one. Um, in that game, Calvin Phillips had Bruno Fernandes in his pocket. But um, Leeds, you know, they've lost players, like I said, prior to the game. You know, they lost Diego Lorente, they loaned him out to Roma, they lost... Joe Geldart, they loaned him out to Sunderland, and he's a good young player. Leeds got him from Wigan. Leeds, of course, loaned Daniel James out to Fulham. Leeds did get him from Man United for £25 million. Leeds also last year let Matches Klitsch go. They made the right decision doing that because he was out of favour at Leeds. A few years ago, they let Alioski go. I think that was a bad mistake by Leeds. 
Of course, the like Rafinha and Calvin Phillips go, but Leeds got around 80 million for them. And to be fair, you know, they found them adequate replacements. Leeds spent around 80 million when they had Jesse Marsh. Uh, Phillips went to City from Leeds and Rafinha went to Barcelona from Leeds. But um, so there you go. And, you know, the last time Leeds beat Man United was in the FA Cup third round back in January 2020. 2010, it was 1-0 Jermaine Bedford scored. Um, but, yeah, we played Leeds twice in four days. Uh, Manchester United's next game is Barcelona. That's next week. It's the Europa League round of 32. Um, I just want to, by the way, give you some news on the Qatari investors. Um, Imaya of Qatar wants to own both Manchester United and PSG. The Qatari investors are planning a bid for Man United next week. And it's mentioned that Old Trafford could be demolished if the Qatari investors take over. We've been in talks with the Qatari investors over the sale of the club. Um, give you some news on Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is prepared to buy Manchester United, but the takeover could be a problem. Uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe's only willing to pay £4 billion and the Glazers are demanding around £6 billion. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is Britain's richest ma man. You know, he's the chairman of Ineos. But um, in November last year, the Glazers announced that the club was up for sale. And since then, you know, Man United have attracted a lot of interest. We've got to get the Glazers out of the club because they've been a massive issue at the club for such a long time. The Glazers have owned Man United for around 17 years. They purchased the club for £790 million, was it, back in 2005. But Eric Ten Hag, he's doing a really good job as Manchester United manager. He really, really is. You know, look at the progress he's made at Man United. You know, he's got us to the Carabao Cup final, where we'll be playing Newcastle. Ten Hag... Wants a trophy, he's made that clear. Man United looking to end the six-year trophy drought. He's got us to the fifth round of the FA Cup. Got us into the top three in the league. And revert back to the start of this season. I did say Ten Hag's expectations this season is to get Man United a top four finish. Like I said, this has been his first full season as United manager. Um, there's been a lot of games this season where I do like the way Ten Hag has approached them, but on the other side of things, there's been games where he's got the decisions wrong. Like I said, got the decision wrong today for starting Maguire alongside Luke Shaw. He should have started Varane and Martinez. You know, he got decisions wrong, you know, in the game on Wednesday night, Old Trafford against Leeds. You know, he shouldn't have been playing Rashford on the right against Leeds at Old Trafford. You know, Rashford should have been on the left because he's far superior on the left than he is on the right. Sancho should have started against Leeds as well, but he didn't. So there you go. But Ten Hag is certainly the best manager we've had since Ferguson. Um, he's brought players in his Ten Hag, revert back to January. He brought, you know, Sabitzer in on loan, Weghorst in on loan and Butland in on loan. Unfortunately, didn't make any permanent signings in January, but revert back to last summer. Ten Hag brought Malassi in, Eriksson, Martinez, Casemiro, Ante and Dubrovka. Ten Hag has spent over £200 million as Manchester United manager so far. And let me put into the equation, he's got rid of a lot of players as well. But anyway guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes, button channel if you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless.